Hello people watching Mossy's Tech Talk episode 2. This is about free gaming on a free OS. Um, I installed Ubuntu Linux 12.04 to play Team Fortress, uh, which is actually a free-to-play game from Valve. And on the left you see the block of the Team Fortress page, uh, where it clearly says free-to-play, get it now on. Um, Mac OS X and Windows and they totally forgot to add Linux because it's very new and they have a better Linux client for it now. Um, to show you where we want to go with that, um, this is the actual Team Fortress 2 on my Linux PC which is standing next to me and there's a game going on where I spectate. I can show you this in full screen, this should be 1080p full HD. I'm moving the spectator cam a little bit around just to show you. That's where we want to go in this video. Um, behind all of that I tap out. There's a Linux. You see clearly this is Ubuntu running, not a Windows system. And in that one we have Team Fortress 2. So where shall we start? Um, we start best off with what I have as system specs. Uh, on my Linux PC I built a small PC out of spare parts here at home. It's a quad-core of uh, an AMD Phenome X4 uh, which runs on slightly above 3 GHz four times and there's very old RAM in it, 4 GB of DDR2 RAM running at 800 MHz and an NVIDIA graphics card which is not too decent. I bought it I think a year ago for a hundred euros. Um, what I uh, did good to that PC is a solid state disk of 64 gigabytes just to install the system on it and the main programs I'm using. It runs damn fast under uh, that SSD with Ubuntu. The changeover from a usual HDD to the SSD was amazing. Everyone who don't own an SSD, I bought it for 50 euros, just go and get it. It's such a delight and so so much fun uh, to operate on a computer with a SSD and the system on it. Um, what we're using as a software is Ubuntu 12.0 LTS, an image which you can download at the Ubuntu homepage, I will show you. Uh, inside Ubuntu when it's installed you need the latest experimental NVIDIA drivers uh, because I'm running an NVIDIA graphics card and I don't know about the ATI AMD graphics cards but it should work with the actual models as well and um, I don't know if you can take the normal drivers which are installed with Ubuntu or if you have to install the experimental drivers from ATI AMD too. Um, that should be readable in a blog about the Steam for Linux. Then you need the Steam for Linux better itself and after you install that you can download the game Team Fortress 2 inside Steam uh, for free because it's free to play. That's just one of the greatest game I've ever seen and it's free. Um, I will get back to that later when we're on the Linux. Um, first I'll show you where you get the Ubuntu. This is the Ubuntu homepage, ubuntu.com. Um, they are announcing phones, which is, oh god, I'm so, I'm so excited about that phone, but it will not come out before 2014. Uh, so that will take a while, but now we're going here for the download. Download of Get Ubuntu, Ubuntu Desktop, we don't want a server or the cloud infrastructure. And what I took is not the 12.10, uh, the latest one, but I took the long-term support, the 12.04 LTS. And as I'm running with four gigabytes of RAM and a CPU that surely can handle a 64-bit uh, operating system, I took the 64-bit version. Um, I didn't run into any complications installing Steam afterwards. Uh, there might be one or two libraries missing, but I will get you some clues on how to install them if you're missing them. So it's just get Ubuntu. Uh, you can donate a little, but you can also go without donating, just only take into the download. It's mainly free. And there you see you get the image. Uh, it's an ISO image, which is made for burning on CDs, DVDs, mainly DVDs, I'm sorry. Um, or you could 
like I did, put it on a USB stick because my Linux PC doesn't have a DVD drive anymore. I didn't want to invest 20 bucks just for buying that DVD drive. Uh, I have plenty of USB sticks and I did the whole installation from a USB stick. So I downloaded that image on my Windows PC. And if you want to install it from a USB disk like I did, like from a stick, I just uh, entered Google and gave in install Ubuntu from USB. And one of the first hits you get uh, is the help desk of Ubuntu. And if you go on that help desk, you get a clear documentation and guide how to install from a USB stick. You need a USB stick, you need that image we downloaded, the ISO. And there are two sections you can install them from Ubuntu if you already have an Ubuntu running, but I think most of the people watching this will not have. Or if you want to install it from a Windows PC, maybe you have a Windows PC like me, which is your main PC, or you have a laptop. And there you download that ISO image, and then you download Linux Live USB Creator, where the link was given. <coughs> download Lily here as well. It's an exe. Uh, run that one and follow the instructions given here. And you only need that Lily and that ISO and the USB stick and you're ready to go to install um, install Ubuntu 12.04 from a USB stick on your PC. That works pretty decent. Um, you might have to do some settings in the BIOS of the computer. Uh, which you mainly access by pressing the delete button while he boots and inside the I, I'm sorry I can't show you right now the the screen because I would have to reboot that PC uh, you usually get a blue setup screen not the blue screen from Windows but a blue setup screen for the BIOS where you have somewhere uh, the boot priority for your drives and you have to change that boot priority to booting from USB and you just stick the stick into your USB port, boot the computer and the installation from Linux from Ubuntu starts right away from the USB stick. That should work very well. After you install Ubuntu 12.04 which went perfectly on the system uh, I was showing you earlier you get to a Linux surface like this one. I will show it to you. Like this one. Um, on that Linux surface you can you have to do one thing first. If you're running an NVIDIA graphics card like me you have to go to system settings. I'm sorry for, for installing it in German, but I didn't want to install it a second time only for this video. Um, you have to go to additional drivers here at the hardware section. Looks for additional drivers. Looks, looks, looks. Ah, it's popping up behind. Yeah, this one. And there you get a list of um, possible NVIDIA graphics card drivers. And you have to choose the experimental one, the latest one, which is right at the moment where I'm recording this video at 310.14. The point 14 doesn't show. And you choose this one and usually you say um, activate it. What I, I'm, I could do here is now delete it because I already have activated. This driver is activated and in use. Um, you need that one to run TF2 and Steam properly. That might change in the future, but right now it's uh, really needed. And then there is a little thing that fooled me because um, my Windows 7 always says if I have to restart my PC over again to get all the functions and somehow Ubuntu didn't do that. Ubuntu just said, hey, fine, you want an experimental driver? Uh, here we go. And it didn't work out. As I wanted to start Steam then, um, it gave me an error message that I'm missing OpenGL in the proper version. Um, 
and you can check your OpenGL version after you installed the driver and you restarted your Ubuntu PC um, by a command. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm moving a little too, too fast. Uh, there's a terminal. In Linux, you can do most things very easy in a terminal, which is a shell where you have access on the Linux base very easy by a text terminal. And you will get that terminal if you've never been to Ubuntu. Um, if you open the dashboard and look for all the installed things and click on the installed ones and there you will find anywhere below the terminal. If you want to keep it uh, permanently on your desktop you just take this one and move it out on the desktop. Yeah. You see now I could uh, overwrite my already one so you have it on a desktop there's a terminal if you op I opened it twice if you open it you will get the text based input and with with this uh, entering glx info that's the, that high slash I don't know how it's called grab uh, OpenGL version like you see here you press enter you get the OpenGL version and before I restarted this was 1.4 way way back and it just didn't want to, to, to get it. After a restart it said 4.3 and NVIDIA driver the name of the driver and the number so we're ready to go with that after installing the experimental drivers. Um, as we're in the terminal shell uh, I want to mention another Thing which is quite comfortable to have on Linux to see how much load is on your PC. There's an HTOP. HTOP is not, you see right now, uh, TF2 is running in the background and you see my four cores right now and they're not that busy with TF2 so I get proper frame rates. It's mainly limited to my graphics card right now, not to the processor. Um, you can quit HTOP by pressing Q. If you don't have HTOP installed, which was not in my install integrated, you can use the fabulous tool in Linux uh, on Ubuntu to install stuff, which is apt-get. Uh, you have to do it as a super user, super user do apt-get install HTOP. Um, now you need the password for the super user, which you define while you're installing Ubuntu. Uh, right now, it says zero actualized, zero new installed, zero deleted, and zero actualized. Um, that means HTOP is already running. It says here HTOP is already running in the newest version. Uh, if you're installing it first, it would install right now, and afterwards you can use it just by writing HTOP. And you get a pretty good overview of all the processes running on your system and the load that is in the CPU. Uh, that was only a little side quest. Yep, want to close the terminal right now. Um, get in Steam. Get in Steam is you go on the on the on the page of store uh, of Valve, the Steam store. It's called steampowered.com, steampowered.com. And there's a small button installing Steam. And it automatically selects on which operating system you're running. Uh, so it detected that I'm on Linux, that's why you get that little fancy penguin, which is the symbol for Linux, the mascot. mascot. And you just press install Steam now. Uh, you get the Steam latest step, which you can then double click and it will automatically install. You might have to make a Steam account if you not already have a Steam account. The Steam account is free, you have to enter your email, you have to uh, to, to take a password for it and then you're into Steam. Afterwards there will a nice little button here on the desktop appear where you can log into Scheme, which I did. Um, in Steam you have your friends list, which is mine. This is not my main account, so the friends list is pretty small. And you have a library, right clicking on that Steam icon where Steam is running, going on library, which means in Germany, Bibliothek. And in that library, you can install Team Fortress 2. Or you go inside the store, enter Team Fortress 
2 into the search engine and get a link to Tim Fortress 2 which has a meta score of 92. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty much for a game. I think it's the highest rated uh, free-to-play game ever. And there you get the free-to-play and play game means installing it. For you there will be uh, a button installing it. And then you have it in your library. And then you can start it. And as you see right now, I'm into the game. Can join a team, choose of one of the nine classes, and I'm ready to play. On the right button, uh, you see you see my frames per second, and you see a window popping up of a friend of mine writing something, who's excited that I'm doing that on Linux right now. And you see my FPS is not going very much lower than than, than 60 or 50, and that's. That's quite fair for that hardware. I don't get much more on on Windows with that system. So that's neat, quite cool. Show you again in full screen. Hey, hey. Oh, I should get a health pack, as you see on the lower bottom, on the left bottom one. Oh god, here, here's supposed to be a health pack. Ha, huh, got it. Yeah, as I'm running here, you might see me, no, you don't see me, uh, a little twisted. Uh, that PC is far away from me. So, yeah, that, that, that one is Team Fortress on Linux. If you have any questions, uh, just write them down below that video in the comments. Maybe I can help you. And, oh, just won an item, the holy mackerel. Yeah, that's it for today from Mossy's Tech Talk, Team Fortress on Ubuntu Linux 12.04. Um, I hope to meet you in Team Fortress 2. Uh, the link of my gaming community Evergreen Terrace, which I run with plenty of TF2 servers and hundreds of people in it, will you find also in the link below. Add me if you want to play with me. Bye bye, over and out, Moss.